Still on to indefinite integral, I sorted out this question in Y 2017. I will show you two different ways in which you can find the integral of this function. The first one is by use of substitution and the second one is by the expansion of the bracket itself. So let us consider use of substitution. First thing we need to do is to substitute the inner function with u. So let u equals 4x minus 3. Second step, differentiate the function u with respect to x, du over dx is equal to, if you differentiate the first term, you are going to obtain 4. The second term is constant and the derivative of constant is 0. du equals to 4 dx. But we have dx here, so I want to make dx the subject by dividing both sides by 4. Therefore, we say dx equals to now du divided by 4. Let us substitute this into the main integral function. You know that we have already substituted this with u, so we have u to the power of 2 multiplied by dx, and dx now is equal to du over 4. But we can factor out 1 over 4 so that we have only u squared du. So we can have something like this. This is equal to 1 over 4, the integral of u squared du. Now applying this principle that says integral of x to the power of n dx is the same thing as x to the power of n plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Therefore, we have from here 1 over 4. You add 1 to the index, it becomes 3. So we have u to the power of 3 divided by the index 3. 4 times 3, 12. So from here we have something like this. 1 over, 1 over 12 times u to the power of 3. But from the beginning we have substituted 4x minus 3 to be equal to u. So therefore we write 4x minus 3 instead of u. And lastly we have 1 over 12 4x minus 3 to the power of 3 plus our constant of integration which is c. But there is a particular shortcut in which you can find this. Uh, from here you let the whole of these quantities to be a single function. So we have 4x minus 3. If you integrate that, you have to add 1 to the index. It becomes 3. And you divide by the 3. Then you divide by the derivative of the inner function. If you differentiate this, you're going to obtain 4. You divide by 4, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of 4. This time this is 12. So we have 1 over 12 times 4x minus 3 to the power of 3, which is the same thing with this one. The second method is by the expansion of the bracket itself. This is the same thing as we expand this to the power of 2. Um, this becomes 16x squared um, minus 24x, then plus 9. The whole of this, dx. This is the expansion of this. We are going to take the integral of each term in this bracket. Uh, this is the same thing as uh, the integral of the first term, which is 16x. You add 1 to the index, it becomes 3, divided by 3. You move to the next term, which is negative 24x minus 24x to the power of 2. If you add 1 to the index, you have to divide by that index again. Then the last one. The integral of the constant is the constant times x, which is 9x. Let's further simplify. This is the same thing as 16x to the power of 3 divided by 3 minus 24 divided by 2 is 12x to the power of 2. Then the last term, which is 9x, plus our constant of integration, c. This is what we are going to obtain after integrating this function.